Here we're asked to graph x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 2y plus 21 equals 0. Now the first thing I notice is that this equation is quadratic in both x and y. In fact, this is the equation of a circle. So let's begin by rewriting it in standard form. To do that, we'll first group the terms involving x. So we have x squared minus 10x, and I'll leave some space, plus, now we'll group the terms involving y. So plus y squared plus 2y equals, moving the 21 to the other side, we can subtract 21 on both sides, and so that'll be equal to negative 21. Now for each of these groupings, we complete the square. And remember, the number that completes the square is b over 2 squared. And so for this first grouping involving x, b is negative 10. So negative 10 divided by 2 squared is equal to negative 5 squared, or 25. And so we'll add 25 to both sides of this equation. Now doing the same thing for the second grouping, in this case, here we have a 2y, so the b is 2. So 2 divided by 2 squared is equal to 1 squared, or 1. And so we'll complete the square here by adding 1 to both sides. Now, once we do that, we can then factor each grouping. And these should be perfect squares, so we have x and x, 25 factors as 5 and 5, and then 5x and 5x adds up to negative 10x, certainly if they're both negative. Factoring the grouping involving these y terms, here we have y times y, 1 times 1 if they're both positive, notice here we have a perfect square as well. Okay, and that should equal 5. In other words, we can write x minus 5 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 5. Now this is the equivalent equation written in standard form. Now from this form, we can tell the center of the circle is 5 comma negative 1. And the radius is equal to the square root of 5, which is about 2.2 units. And so we'll use the center and the radius to sketch the graph. We'll begin with the center here at 5 comma negative 1, and then mark 2.2 units horizontally and vertically. So 2.2 units horizontally will give me a point on the circle about there and here. When I mark off 2.2 units vertically, we'll have a point on the circle there and here. Now certainly we should label these points. But let me sketch the graph first and then we'll, we'll label them um, next. Now keep in mind, this is just a rough sketch. Now let's label these points. So notice these two points on the circle share the same y value of the center, which is negative 1. The x value, on the other hand, remember, was 2.2 units added to the x value of 5. So in other words, um, instead of using 2.2, we'll use square root of 5. So this point would be 5 plus the square root of 5, comma, negative 1. And then this point here would be 5 minus the 2.2 units, or square root of 5, comma, negative 1. Now the points that we marked off vertically from the center are going to share the same x value here, 5. So this point here is 5, comma. Now negative 1, we started 
from a y value of negative 1 and we added 2.2 units up. So that would be negative 1 plus square root of 5 units. And then here we would write uh, 5 comma negative 1 minus square root of 5. And so there we've labeled the points that we marked and that's a rough sketch of the given equation.